Hmm. They are the same equation and inequality. They are the same. Grade nine, are you here? Ms. Sahar. Yes. Ms. Sahar, I'm Abdul Rahman Abu Talib. I'm here in the system. Ah, you entered, right? Uh, okay, yes. Abdul Rahman. Okay. Hmm. Right, let me say something. You have to be at least, you have to be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. Could you please give me an inequality to provide possible age for a person with a driver's license? You have to be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license. Could you please give me an inequality to, uh, uh, to receive or to have uh, for the person to have uh, a license uh, to drive the car? Yes, Uta? Uh, X more than or equal 16. X more than or equal 16, exactly. So X should be more than or equal 16, right? Could you please give me an example about uh, if a student have 14 years old, he can receive the license? Abu Ragab, if you have 14, According to this inequality, you can receive the, 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 the license, the driving license? Yes, miss. You can? can you say the question again? Okay, I said, you have to be at least 16 years old to have a driver's license, right? And I said, give me a yes. quality to know the age for the person to receive the license uh, to drive the car. Ahmed told me X is more than or equal 60. So I'm looking for a number now, it will satisfy this inequality. So I told you 14. It will be correct to satisfy this inequality if I would say 14, it would be correct. It will be correct or no, Annie? Yes, if I would say 14 years, it will satisfy years. this inequality. Uh -huh. uh, no, Ems. No, why? Because it can't uh, be 14 years old. It can't because it, it could be 16 and more, right? It could yes. be 16, 16 and or, more. or more, right? So according to this inequality, it could be 16 and more to or receive and more. a license. Okay, thank you. Yes, Ms. Okay, uh, Laura. Laura, do you want to? Yes. Add, yes. Do you want to add anything to this example? Which one? The sixteen. Ah, yes. If I would say sixteen, it will satisfy. You will accept or not? Yes. Yes, because x is more than or equal sixteen, right? So today, inshallah, we will study linear inequality before we studied linear equations. So we want to know the difference. Is there anyone can tell me what is the difference between the two topics? What is the difference, Adham? Yes. Hmm. Yes, yes. Yes. Can you repeat the question again? Because I didn't hear you well. I said, what is the difference between linear equation and linear inequality? Equation consists uh, consist of one ordered pair, mm -hmm. only one ordered pair that can satisfy the equation. But With the equation, one object square. only, it will satisfy the equation, okay? But inequalities, uh -huh. more than one answer may satisfy it. More than one answer, it could be satisfied and it will belong to the region which we are going to 
explain it uh, after a while. So when the equal sign in a linear equation is replaced with an inequality sign, so a linear inequality is formed, okay? So once we are going, as you see here in your left hand, y equal 4x minus 5. If I'm going to replace this sign with inequality sign, so a linear inequality is formed. So we are talking about a part is greater or is smaller, whatever, according to the sign, it will be uh, 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 the meaning for the inequality. And also, if you want to compare between the solution for both two cases, so we have the solution consists of all points, x and y, that satisfy the equation. So the solution form, forms a line. So sometimes, did you remember, yeah, Adham, you told me only one order pair it will satisfy? Did you remember when we have an equation with infinite number of solutions with system of equations? In case we are talking yes. about a system of equations, it's different, not like the linear equation, right? Yes. 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 And the solution for the inequality consists of all points that satisfy the inequality. The solution form a region or half plane with the line as a border. Then we will uh, explain now how we are going to solve the linear inequality. So steps to graphing the uh, uh, solution of a linear inequality. Number one, graph inequality as if we as a line. So if the inequality simple is less than or more than, make a dashed line. So take care about this point, please. If we have a line that the sign is more than or less than, so we are going to represent the line by a dashed line. It's not a solid line, dashed line like this. Okay, dashed line. But if the inequality simple is less than or equal or more than or equal, so it will be a solid line. Again, could you please, uh, anyone can tell me what I said? Mm. Yes, miss. Yes. What did I say till now? Um, mm. um, the difference between the linear, uh, the linear equation and the inequality uh, linear inequality mm -hmm. uh, and if the inequality simple is greater than or smaller than mm -hmm. the line will be uh, dashed dashed line yes simple, yes and then if the inequality simple is greater than or equal or uh, smaller than or equal mm -hmm. uh, it will be a, a, a solid line a, a solid line a solid line thank you okay so if it's only less than or more than, so we will use a dashed line. If it's less than or equal or more than or equal, it will be a solid line. So this is the first point to graph the inequality. Second, test a point on either side of the line. If the coordinates of the point X and Y satisfy the original inequality, shade the same side of the line as the point. If the inequality is false, shade the other side of the line. If the inequality is solved for y, you can shade above the line for greater than or greater than or equal, or for less than, less than or equal, we are going to shade below the line. So let me give you an example to explain how we can solve linear inequality. So, we want to solve this inequality here in this question. We want to solve this inequality. First, we have to write it like, did you remember slope intercept form? We will solve for y. So number one, we have to solve for y. If I want to change this one, like an equation like y equal, 2x 
minus 3. Okay? 2x minus 3. We can uh, 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 represent this one graphically, grade 9. If you have y equal to x minus 3, we can represent this one graphically. Who can tell me? Yes. 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 How we are going to graph it? The we will start from yes. negative we will 3. Yes. We go directly to negative 3 to the y intercept. Yes. And then and this the up here is 2 over 1. 2 over 1. Two Thank over you. One. Which means we are going to move two units up and then one to, one to the right. right. Okay? The Bolina. Could you please repeat what I said now? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. We will go to three, uh, negative 3 and y. Negative 3 and y-axis, yes. Have, and then uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 over 1, we will uh, go 2 up. Yes. How many units we will two go up? And 1 to the right. And one to the right. Thank mm -hmm. you. Two up and one to the right. Thank you. Two up and one to the right. Now, we have to draw. We will use dashed line or solid line. Great nine. Dashed. Dashed line. Why it should be dashed line? Because it's more than only. Right? Because we said, don't forget, if it's more than or less than should be dashed line. But if it's more than or equal or less than or equal, it will be solid. solid. Don't forget. Okay, then we will use the normal method when we graph a linear equation, right? To represent it graphically. And then we will represent this one graphically and it will be a dashed line. So we will watch the video, then I will stop and I will back to ask a new one. As two over one. So our y intercept is negative three. From here, we'll go up to right one several times to find additional points. And before we sketch the grid, remember it's going to be dashed because the line is not part of the solution. Now we either have to shade above or below the line. Because it says greater than and it's all for y, we are going to shade above or to the left. So let's just pick a test. Uh, did you hear why did he draw a dashed line? Why he said that this one was a dashed because line? It's, uh, because um, it's greater than? It's more than. No. Yes, I, it's more than, yes, it's, it's a dashed line. Yes, I agree with you. But also because the, the, the points which belong to this line is not a, an answer for the, for the inequality. How? Give me any point belong to this inequality now. Give me any point belong to the line. Two and one. Two and one, okay? So let's check now. Two and one, it will be a, a solution for this one, for this inequality. Two and one, you, you said that you have two and one, right? Belong to the a, to the boundary line. It will be a solution. So let's let's no, not you. In y equal one, right? More than two times how many? Two times two minus three, right? Then. One, one, more than two times two equal how many, Abdurrahman? Two times two equal how many? Miss Abdurrahman, me or Abdurrahman Abdurrahman Khalid. Um, two times two. Me the, the answer for the third right side, please. Two times two uh, equal four. Yes. Minus three mm -hmm. uh, equal one. Equal one. Thank you. Is this correct inequality, uh, Abdurrahman? If I would say one more than one, no. Is this correct? No. Right. For this reason, we said that it will be a boundary line or dashed line. 
because all the points which belong to this line, it's not a part or, or it will not be satisfy the inequality, okay? Then to have greater than or less than, we said it's a dashed line. But why this one is a dashed line? Why Farah Mahlab? Because it's not a solution for the inequality. Thank you, because it's not a solution for the inequality. So where we can find the solution for this inequality? I'm looking for a solution for this inequality. If there anyone can tell me where we can find a solution for this inequality? How we will find it? Let me say, did you see the, the line, the dashed line? Did you see the, the yes. dashed line? Yes. And why here is more than or less than? More than. More than. So we are going to shade the area above the line. We are going to shade the area above the line. And any point belong to this region, it will be a solution for this inequality. So let's watch and then I will stop and I will discuss with you. It's point to make sure. We'll take the test point zero zero. That's usually the easiest point to use as long as it's not on the line. So let's replace y with zero and x with zero. So we have zero is greater than zero minus three or negative three. This is true, which does verify we should shade the same side of the line as the test point or the side. So the region will shade is this region here, which means if we pick any point in this region, it would satisfy the original inequality. Let's graph the solution. Okay. So did you see? Where we, uh, we have to shade the, the, the region which it will be a solution for this inequality. Where? Huh? Above the line. Above the line, because it's y more than 2x minus 3. So any point belong to the region above the line, it will be a solution for this inequality. But any point belong to the uh, dashed line or under it, it will not be a solution for this inequality. If you want to check your answer, the easiest point, which is origin point, it it's, uh, uh, lies already in the region above the line. So once you will substitute by using zero and zero, so y it will be equal zero, two x uh, or two times zero, it will be equal zero, which means zero is more than negative three. So it's correct. And even if you are going to choose any order pair belong to the region, Above the line, it will be a solution for this inequality. Any question till this point? I can't, no. I can't understand it well. Which part, my dear? The inequality, when you said that why is it dash? Uh, why, this is, why this is dash, okay. Once you have, did you see the sign for more than Yalora? Yes. Sign for more than, or sign more than, or less than only. When you will represent the it graphically, you are going to use a dashed line. But why it should be a dashed line? Because any point belong to this dashed line, it will not satisfy the inequality. Right? Did you remember when I asked Abdurrahman uh, Khalid when we said two and one and we substitute? It doesn't mm -hmm. satisfy the inequality for this reason. Once you have more than or less than the sign for the, this one, then you will represent by a dashed line. The region which you are looking for, this one is y more than, right? Did you see y? Is more than. So you have to shade the area above the line. And any point belong to this region, it will be a solution or it will satisfy the, uh, the inequality. If you will pick up any order pair under the line, it will not satisfy the inequality. Could you please tell me any region uh, not be, it will not be a solution? Huh. Tell me, an order pair, it will not be a solution. This region here, which means... Hmm. Laura. Me, oh, okay. Yes, tell me. Know. Tell me any order pair, it will not be a solution. Uh, Where do you got it? 
one and negative one one and negative one one and negative one it will not be a solution why because it doesn't um, doesn't satisfy the inequality it doesn't satisfy and also it belongs to the dashed line right mm -hmm. and also any point under the dashed line like uh, who can give me another example it will not satisfy the solution the inequality uh, i know tell me please ya farah also uh, negative two and two negative two and two negative two and two it will not be a solution or it will be no it will not لا, it will be a solution farah any point belong to the shaded part or the shaded region, it will satisfy, it will be a solution. You told me two and uh, two and what? Oh. Negative two and two, right? You said yes. negative two and two, right? Negative two and two. Yes. We will check now, negative two and two, it will be a solution or not? So we will replace the value of y by two and it was more than two times negative two minus three, right? Then we have two more than negative four minus three, it will be negative seven. So is this a correct inequality or wrong? This is correct inequality or wrong? No, correct. it's correct, Mr. Correct, right? So it's a solution or not? Yes. It's a solution. Uh, it's a solution. solution. This but how, yani, yeah. okay, I now understand, but you said that um, if it belongs to the dashed line. Mm -hmm. uh, Listen to me. It will belong to the dashed line or under the dashed line, not a solution. But above oh, okay. the dashed line, it will be a solution. Understood? Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Laura, understood? Yes, I understood. Okay. Any other question? Grade nine? Let's move to another example. In this question, let's graph the solution. 3y, 3x minus 2y more than or equal 12. What is the first step we have to do it here? What is the first step? Arrange the equation. Arrange the equation to solve for? Y. Y. Okay. So we will arrange the equation. And after that, what we have to do? Who can tell me the, the scenario, what we are going to do? We will uh, put the slope and y intercept. We will rearrange first, right? Solve for y. Yes. And, and the coefficient before yes. y should be equal. The coefficient before y should be equal what? No. Yeah, we, we can accept negative 2y? No. 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 Should be? 1. 1. one. Thank you. And you cannot hear that we have negative 2y. In case if you are going to divide by negative 2, what's going to happen to the sign? Uh, it's going to be the opposite. Uh, we will uh, make the opposite sign. Thank you. Thank you, Farah. We are going to flip the sign, right? And also, yes. what about the line which we will uh, represent? It? it will be a dashed line or solid line? Solid. Solid line, which means any point belong to the solid line, it will satisfy the inequality or not? It will. It will. Thank you so much. Yes. So if it's a, a dashed line, which means any point belong to the dashed line, it will be, not be a solution. But if it's a solid line, it will be a solution. Okay, so let's watch how we can answer this question and I will back to you. Three equals 12. So step one, we will grasp the line, three X minus two Y equal to 12. Because it's greater than or equal to, it'll be a solid line. Now this does not solve for Y. So on this problem, I'm going to go ahead and just find the x and the y intercept by setting x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 and concluding this table. So if we let x equal to 0, we would have negative 2y equal to 12 dividing by negative 2. We'd have a y-intercept of negative 6. 
now we'll set y equal to zero. So this would be zero. We have three x equals twelve. Dividing by three, x equals four. So let's plot these two points. Now zero negative six is off this grid by one unit, so I'm going to approximate the point to be there. Four zero would be here. So our line will pass through these two points. I did find one more point just to make my graph more accurate. My line's a little bit off, but you get the idea. Because this is not solved for y, let's go ahead and pick a test point. Again, we'll choose 0, 0. So we'll sub in a 0 for x and a 0 for y. So the left side would be 0. And the question is, is true or false? Is 0 greater than or equal to 12? And that's false. So if this point is false, this entire half plane would be false. Therefore, we want to shade the other half of the line. This is a great example of a problem where we... So, in this question, could you please what denotes, how did he represent it graphically? He didn't rearrange, right? How did he represent it graphically? He found what? He found what, grade nine? Hmm. Uh, y intercept yes. and the slope. Thank you. No, he didn't find the slope this, in this case, Yathama. He found the x-intercept and the y-intercept to represent it graphically. Oh. So instead of uh, uh, divided the figure or uh, to rearrange and then to divide, it will take a long time, right? So you can make something very easy to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. How? If you want the x-intercept, so the value of y should be equal zero. If you want the y-intercept, let me write like this here, okay? If you want to find L x intercept, to, to find the x intercept, let y equal how many? Let y equal zero. So quickly, you will change it into equation like 3x minus 2y equal 12. If you want to find the x-intercept, let y equal 0. Then remove y, which means it will be 3x equal 12. Divided by 3, divided by 3, then x equal 4. Right? If you want to find the y-intercept, let x equal 0. Then remove x. Then you have negative 2y equal 12. Then you will divide it by negative 2 for both. Then y equal negative 6. So it will be 0 and negative 6. Then you will go in the graph and you will plot the two points, 0 and negative 6, and 4 and 0. Then you will connect between them by a solid line. Now we want to know which region we have to shade to satisfy this inequality. The most easiest uh, 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 point which we can use it to satisfy the equation, 0 and 0. So you will go to the original inequality and you will substitute by zero and zero. Zero and zero now, it will be zero times x uh, times three, it will be zero. Zero times negative two, it will be zero. Then zero is more than or equal 12. In this correct inequality, zero more than or equal negative 12, zero more than or equal, uh, zero more than or equal 12, is this correct? No. No. For this reason, we will not accept the region above the line. We will uh, shade the region under the line. And this one, it will be the solution for this inequality. Okay? Any question, grade nine till now? Yes, I just want no. to know how did you graph it? How start did, from where? Yes. How did you graph it? Mm, like start yes. from where? Or start from where? In this question, we didn't start from the y-intercept and use the slope. We calculated the x-intercept and the y-intercept, right? The intersection point with x-axis and the intersection point with y-axis. So you will start to change the inequality into an uh, equation like this, 3x minus 2y equal 12. First, let x equal zero, which which means you will remove three x. Did you see three x? Mm. Then you put x equal zero. 
Then you have negative 2y equal 12 divided by negative 2 and divided by negative 2, then y equal negative 6. So this is the first point which you will choose, 0 and negative 6. Second time, you will uh, 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 substitute y equal 0. Then it will be 3x equal 12 divided by 3 divided by 3, then x equal 4. Then you found the second point, which is 4 and 0. You will go in the graph and you will plug the first point here, Laura, 0 and negative 6. What about the next point? 4 and 0. Then we will connect them together. Okay? okay. After that, you check which region you have to uh, uh, show you. The easiest point, as I said, which point, the easiest one? The 0. 0 and 0. 0 and 0. You will replace 0 and 0 in the original equation, inequality, and you will check. If 0 and 0 satisfy the inequality, so it will be, uh, you will shape this region. If it wasn't, you will shape the uh, opposite region, which means here in this one, we will shape under the line. If we will pick up any order pair belong to the region under the line, it will make this inequality correct. But the opposite, if you will uh, choose any point above the line, it will not satisfy this inequality. If it will should, satisfy it's up or below. In this case, in this inequality? No, like if any equation is to satisfy, we will shade the up part or the below? We have to shade a part which it will satisfy. Okay. So when we check zero and zero in this question, it's satisfied or not? No. No, for this reason, we didn't shade above. We should go yeah. under. Yeah. Because if yeah. you will choose any point under the line or even belong to this line because it's a solid line, it will satisfy this inequality. Okay. Understood? Yes, thank you. You're welcome, honey. How we can represent this one? X is less than negative two. We are going to choose the same method. This one, if I will represent it graphically, it will be a line, right? It will be dashed line or solid line? Dash. This one, it will be dashed line. And in this case, we will change the area. It will be because it will be a parallel line. If you were represented graphically, it will be a parallel line and dashed. And it's less than, so we will change the area in the left side. You can watch the video uh, uh, and you can watch the lesson and then you can solve the homework because we have already only one minute before the time in. So in this case, we will shade the area. You will check 